Whenever humans feel stressed out or overwhelmed, they might treat themselves to a day at the spa. Well, the Pre-Vet Club and animal health technology students believe that your pooch may deserve a little pampering every now and then too. Dogs of all shapes and sizes attended the Doggy Day Spa to receive several grooming services. The pooches left fresh and clean with clipped nails, clean ears, and a stylish bandana. You can see the dogs, you know, they, you know, some of them do come in, they're really nervous because it is an entirely new environment full of a whole bunch of different smells, but there are some dogs that just eat it up, and, and you know they do. They just lay there and they roll over on their belly after their nail trim, and they just like, love me, please, somebody, and they, it's just, it's the exciting part of the day. It probably brings the biggest smile to my face to see dogs like that. The Doggy Day Spa was more than just a good time for the pets, but also provided experiential learning for MSU animal health technology and pre-veterinary students. You get to learn um, so much about, about your major, about different animals. I mean, we see close to 200 animals, if not more, every single time we do one of these. So all those different animals, you get all the, all, and they're all different and they all act differently. and. Um, so, so you learn to kind of formulate how, how you work with these animals and I think that's an important thing to have when pursuing either veterinary medicine or animal health technology as your major. What other college can you go to that we have all these animals here to, to be able to get hands-on experience? That's, that's something that not, not every school has that. The local Humane Society also offered microchipping at a discounted price. They sold engraved pet tags and collars and encouraged pet fostering and adoption. The AHT and Pre-Vet Club donates the proceeds from the event to two organizations. This year, the members decided to donate to two local charities, Lost But Loved and Hoofbeats of Hope.